Hi, I'm Helen Cooper-Smith from Time2 Resources. This video will help you understand break-even. Break-even is a relatively complex but very popular topic. It's therefore worth spending time to master it. If you want to make notes as you go along with this video, why not download the handy PDF note taker? The link for this can be found in the description box below. Break-even point is the level of output where a business is making neither a profit nor a loss. At this point, total revenue will be equal to total cost. We call this the break-even level of output. If a business is operating at a lower level of output, then total revenue will be lower than total cost and therefore the business is making a loss. If the business is operating at a higher level of output, then total revenue will be greater than total cost and therefore the business is making a profit. Break-even analysis is the process of identifying the level of output where a business is achieving total revenue equal to total cost. We can calculate the break-even point by using the following formula. The formula for break-even point is fixed costs divided by contribution per unit. The formula for contribution per unit is selling price minus variable costs. Let's look at a numerical example. Assume a business makes chairs. It has fixed costs of £100,000, variable costs of £50 per unit and a selling price of £130. The formula for break-even point was fixed costs divided by contribution per unit. The formula for contribution per unit was selling price minus variable costs. So first of all we put our fixed cost figure in of 100,000 and then on the bottom line we calculate our contribution per unit selling price of 130 minus our variable cost of 50 pounds. This gives us 100,000 divided by 80. This tells us now that our break-even point is 1,250 units, or in this case, 1,250 chairs. It's really important in the examination to express the break-even point in units. Quite often we see students put a pound sign in front of it, and you would lose marks if you did this, so always express it in units. We can also use a break-even chart. This is a graphical representation of the costs and revenues of a business, allowing it to identify the break-even level of output. Remember, break-even point is where total cost is equal to total revenue. Therefore, on our graph, it must be the point where our total cost and our total revenue lines cross. From here, we can draw a line down to our horizontal axes. This is identifying our break-even level of output. Let's apply this diagram to our chair example. Here, for our chair business, we have our total cost and our total revenue line. We can see where the total cost and total revenue crosses. From here, we draw a vertical line down to touch our horizontal axes. This is our break-even level of output. This particular business would have to sell 1,250 chairs in order to break even. We can use the break-even chart not just to show profit, loss and break-even, but also margin of safety. Margin of safety is the level of output above the break-even level of output. In order to calculate this, we use the formula actual output minus the break-even level of output. For our chair business, we had already identified that the break-even level of output was 1,250 chairs. Let's assume that their actual output is 2,000 chairs or 2,000 units. Now we can calculate the margin of safety. The margin of safety is the difference between the actual output and the break-even level of output. So we take 2,000 units actual output minus the break-even level of output 1,250. For this particular business, they have a margin of safety of 750 units. There are several benefits to a business of carrying out break-even analysis. One of these is the ability to do what-if analysis. What-if analysis, also commonly referred to as scenario analysis, allows a business to look at a range of scenarios and consider what the impact of these would be on the business. For example, a business may say, what if our variable costs rise? It would then consider how this would impact on other aspects of the business, such as the break-even level of output, margin of safety, and profit or loss at different levels. This would allow a business to identify what actions it could take if these scenarios were to become reality. It would be part of a business's scenario planning. It also allows a business to predict profit or loss at different levels of output. This could be compared to sales forecasts. For example, 
an entrepreneur may use this to identify whether a business idea is viable or not. Once we understand our break-even level of output, we can also use this to inform decision making, for example when choosing a supplier or deciding on a suitable price for a particular good or service. It can be used to set targets, for example, a sales target could be set for a minimum number of sales to be made within a set period of time, e.g. a month, or it could be used to set an expenditure budget in order to ensure or try to ensure that costs are controlled so that they match those used within the break-even analysis. Finally, it could be used to help raise finance. Break-even analysis normally forms an important part of a business plan. There are, however, also limitations to break-even analysis. The break-even analysis is based on forecasts. They are forecasts for costs and forecasts for revenues. These costs and revenues may well vary over the period of time. Now, we may have already identified these in our what-if analysis and have plans in place to deal with such changes, but we cannot avoid them. In the long run, even fixed costs may change. We can also consider the fact that the margin of safety is based on a forecast level of sales. This does not mean this level of sales will actually be achieved. Each break-even analysis also applies to just one product. In reality, most businesses will have more than one product in their portfolio. Therefore, they would have to carry out break-even analysis for each of those products within their portfolio. It also assumes that costs and selling prices are consistent. Now, as output increases, this may not be true. A business may have to change its selling prices in order to achieve higher levels of sales. On the flip side, it may actually see that unit costs fall as output increases. So in reality, it's unlikely that our total cost and our total revenue lines would be straight lines. So what are the key points we have covered in this video? First of all, break-even point is the point where a business is neither making a profit or a loss. At this point, total revenue is equal to total cost. We can calculate this using the formula fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. Contribution per unit is calculated using the formula selling price minus variable costs. We must always remember that the break-even level of output is expressed in units. We can also calculate the margin of safety using the formula output minus the break-even level of output. When using a break-even chart, we identify the break-even point where total revenue crosses total cost. We can then read the break-even level of output off the horizontal axes. At any point to the left of the break-even point, a business is making a loss. At any point to the right of the break-even point, a business is making a profit. The margin of safety is read off the horizontal axis to the right of the break-even level of output. Thank you for listening and watching this video on understanding break-even. Hopefully you now feel more confident in your understanding of break-even analysis, how to calculate the break-even point and identifying the break-even level of output on a break-even chart. If so, please like this video and feel free to make a comment. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time2Resources YouTube channel. Thank you.